to import an image, you have your import section up here. You have a DXF uh, drawing import button, and you have the import tools button. Uh, if you click on this, it's going to let you do image files, uh, JPEG, and PNG files. So I'm going to click on this, click on import silhouette. On the right-hand side, you'll see your parameters pop up. I'll browse for the, my file. I already got one saved on here for this dog. Um, click open. It's going to load up. This is just a image I saved off of uh, Google Images. So you see it's making a tool path around the dog. Uh, it looks pretty good, so I'll click the enter button or green check mark to accept it. Um, and I'm going to move it down to my origin point and rotate it. Be straight up and down. Uh, you can see when it imports an image, it automatically it, it groups it together. So if you hover above it, it selects the whole thing. So to make this a workable piece and to make sure it's uh, going to cut out well, I need to ungroup it. So you click on it, and up here on the modify section of your ribbon, you can see you have uh, a button called ungroup. Click once on that, and now if I highlight my whole part, it becomes a workable piece. You can see all the, um, the lines. Uh, on here. It, it looks pretty good, but I want to try and smooth it out. Um, it's, it has these straight lines making arcs. Um, so on the right-hand side of your, of your ribbon, you have a button called Arc Fitting Tool. So you click on that. It's going to bring up your parameters. So the more you increase this tolerance, you can see this blue line. Um, the more rounded, you can see it, it tries to make everything. Uh, typically, uh, one to three thousandths is a pretty good number to stick with. So I'm going to just keep that at one thousandths. And uh, you'll click the enter button or green check mark to accept it. And you can see now when I highlight my part, it's, it's a whole lot smoother. So I like to group it back uh, together once I'm done working on it. So you'll go back right above ungroup. You have the group button. So you click once on that. And it's back to a grouped piece. And uh, I can move on to cutting it.